Mountains, Nolan Arbaugh, I'm 29 years old. Um, about eight years ago, I was in kind of a freak diving accident and uh, dislocated my C4, C5. So I'm a complete um, quadriplegic. I love playing chess. And so this is one of the things that y'all have enabled me to do, something that I wasn't able to really do much the last few years, especially not like this. It's all being done with my brain. If y'all can see the cursor moving around the screen, that's that's all me, y'all. What if you could control a computer with just your thoughts? Elon Musk's company, Neuralink, has been doing exactly the same. They began their first human trial in September 2023. So how did it go? Well, we might have some exciting news. They got permission and started looking for volunteers. Recently, they successfully implanted a chip into the brain of the first human test subject. Musk shared his exciting update on social. He said the person who got the Neuralink chip is doing great. They fully recovered. And what's even more exciting, they can control a computer mouse just by thinking. Last month, the company put a chip in its first human patient after getting permission to recruit people for a human trial in September. They use a robot to carefully implant the chip in a part of the brain that controls movement intentions. The main aim is to help people control a computer cursor or keyboard just by thinking. Say hi to Nolan Arau. The brave guy tried out the amazing Neuralink device for the first time ever. Nolan is a 29-year-old adventurer with a super exciting story to tell. It all began eight years ago with a diving accident that totally shook things up. Now Nolan is filling us in on his situation. So he's paralyzed from the shoulders down with no feeling below that. Now, Nolan controls everything with his mind. Musk mentions that Neuralink is currently focusing on getting as many mouse button clicks as possible from the patient. However, Neuralink hasn't responded yet to Reuters' request for more information. Neuralink's technology works like electrophysiology, which studies how electrical signals in our nervous system work. These signals happen when nerve cells, called neurons, talk to each other through tiny spaces, called synapses. The electrodes in Neuralink's device picks up these signals, measuring the spikes in voltage when the neurons fire or might fire. So the device doesn't just record when we do something, it also picks up on what we're thinking about doing. But don't worry, it's not like reading minds, it just detects brain activity and interprets it as an action, according to Sonal Baberwall, a researcher working with similar technology. She explains it's kind of like how blood pressure shows if someone is stressed or relaxed. Your brain signals can show if your eyes are open or closed, if you're relaxed or in deep sleep, or if you're focused or just daydreaming. All these things can be seen through the signals picked up by the device. Once the device collects all this data, machine learning algorithms and other smart computer programs help make sense of it all. Musk has big plans for Neuralink. He wants it to help with quick surgeries to put his chip devices into treating things like obesity, autism, depression, and schizophrenia. Neuralink was worth around $5 billion last year. Some people have raised concerns about how safe it is. Reuters said last month that the company got fined for not following US Department of Transportation rules about moving dangerous materials. The implant has a tiny battery that gets charged wirelessly from the outside using a small inductive charger. This makes it easy to use from anywhere. Noland hasn't seen a picture of how it's charged yet, but he thinks it probably goes on your forehead and the induction charging keeps it powered. Elon Musk said it needs regular charging to work well. Next up, we have the lower power chips, which sends data wirelessly to the Neuralink app. Then there are the threads. The N1 implant captures brain activity using 1024 electrodes on 64 threads. These threads are super flexible and very thin, which reduces damage during implantation and afterwards. And it's so tiny that you can hardly see it once it's in place. Instead of using human hands, there's this cool little robot that does the job. It has a needle-like tool made to insert these threads precisely where they're needed, smoothly and efficiently. Imagine it like a sewing machine, carefully putting those threads in place. If you take a closer look, you'll see the robot head with its camera and sensors, along with a super thin needle. This needle, thinner than a human hair, carefully handles the threads. It's set to be the next big thing in brain-computer interfaces, changing how we use technology. Before, it looked really easy for him to use the mouse, in their show, he said it was simple and didn't seem hard at all. This peek into technology is super exciting, and we can't wait to find out more. Neuralink wants to help paralyzed people talk again. Later, they want to help them move, feel, see better, and fix brain problems. A device like Neuralink could make people remember better, think faster, and be smarter by connecting their brain to computers, explained Al-Qaedi. 
brain-computer interfaces can help control artificial limbs or robotic suits. This can help paralyzed or amputated people move again and do things on their own. The fact that they want to help people who can't talk or write by letting them control a computer or phone with their thoughts makes it really interesting. For instance, someone who can't move their body could use this to browse the internet or make art on a computer. By keeping an eye on brain activity, brain-computer interfaces can find changes that might mean someone has epilepsy, bipolar disorder, or Alzheimer's disease. They can also check for signs of mental health problems. By sending tiny electric pulses to certain parts of the brain, they could help with issues like feeling tired, stressed, or sad. Helping people with paralysis or brain problems could make the world much better, with fewer people feeling hopeless, said Norman, who has been working for 10 years to help people with brain injuries or diseases. Giving back control to those who have lost it, that's a really good thing. This device is like having a solution that not only helps you focus and remember things better, but also trains your brain to do so. Elon Musk compared it to having a Fitbit in your skull, packed with all sensors you'd find in a smartwatch. Now, your brain has about 80 billion neurons, each with thousands of connections. Neuralink's tech can detect up to 10,000 of these connections, a huge leap from the few hundred in academic studies. But what do you do with all that data? They're still figuring that out. However, everything isn't looking good. We have some concerns as well. Cybersecurity expert Roger Grimes, who has 35 years of experience, is worried about the security of Elon Musk's Neuralink AI brain chip against hacking. In an interview with the US Sun, Grimes, who advises big companies and has written many books on computer security, talked about the risks. He mentioned that while the chips aren't advertised as connected to the internet, hackers would still face challenges. They need to understand the chip's unique operating system, which isn't common software, making it a tough to hack. Also, hacking would likely need physical access to the chip and knowledge of its technical details. Grimes made it clear that even though hacking the Neuralink chip might seem tough, we can't just ignore the possibility. He reminded us about times when hackers got into medical devices before. He wondered what makes Neuralink's chip different. While he doesn't think a hack will happen anytime soon because of the chip's special features, he warned about how dangerous it could be if it did get hacked. In the past, when medical devices were hacked, it put people's lives at risk. If the Neuralink chip were hacked, it could be even worse because it's all about the brain. Grimes' worry shows why we really need strong security when we're making and using fancy medical stuff like Neuralink. Alex Laurie, a top executive at Forge Rock, shared thoughts on the cybersecurity risks of brain-computer interfaces like Neuralink. Speaking to the Daily Star, Laurie stressed the importance of strong anti-hacking measures right from the start. He pointed out that Neuralink's setup lets users control a computer using a phone app, creating a connection between the brain and an external device. Laurie highlighted the risk of hacking in Neuralink, the app, and the connected computer, warning that hackers could trick the system into following fake commands from the user. So, what are your thoughts on the Neuralink? Do let us know in the comments section, and also don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, see you later!